Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Cyberpunk 2077. Last episode, we were thrown into this amazing world. We made our own character. Let me see if I can show you her. Um, there's a glitch. Like, every time I look in the mirror, I'm nude. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. That's better. I got clothes on this time. So yeah, I made my character. She looks a little angry. Look at her. Smile. Pout, gawk, stare. Smile. Come on. There it is. Look at that smile. Uh, so yeah, I made my character. Chose our life path, which was Corpo. And uh, we've been traveling around with Jackie, our friend Jackie, doing some missions and jobs. Uh, I'm still a little confused as far as where we are story-wise. We did fast forward a year later, but I'm still trying to process the story about what's going on, who we're working for, what we're doing, stuff like that. But so far, I'm really, really enjoying the game. There has been a couple bugs. Um, the game actually did crash on me last uh, Let's Play, but uh, we'll see how it goes this time. All right, so I haven't even looked at my character yet. Like, as far as our skill points, all that stuff. So we have one perk point available and one attribute point. Uh, let's see here. I want to go with definitely some more of... I think I'm going to go with reflexes and maybe... I'm not exactly sure. Hold to acquire, open perks. Eagle eye. I'm not sure how this all works yet. Handguns. Okay, wait, there's assault. Okay, here we go. Handguns and blades. Let's do handguns. Or should I go assault? Eagle eye. Uh, I'd say increase damage with rifles and submachine guns. Let's do that. There we go. Um, do I have any more? No, I don't. Okay. Alrighty. I realize now that, uh... I don't- I shouldn't have put my body up to 5. We should have put it up to... To, uh, this up to 5. I didn't realize. I thought this was stuff. But it, it adds 5 health points and stamina and stuff like that. But I'm definitely not gonna be a brawler of any kind. Definitely, that's not- I'm not doing that, I don't think. And we have one at okay, now we also have one attribute. So we'll put that to reflexes. There you go. Okay, level 20 is the max, not level 6. Gotcha, mate. Gotcha. Look at that. Moving on up in the world. All right, we have our map. For those of y'all wondering what the map looks like. Wow. Oh my gosh, I forgot I'm playing an RPG. I can go travel. I can go buy some gear. I'm already looking at the clothing store. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we want to do first. I uh, got our inventory. Our weapons. Do I want to change the weapon I have? No, the weapon I have is good. I need to sell these. Okay. Scope, muzzle, we can mod our weapon. Gotcha, mate. Um, we can have another weapon, our secondary, and then our, our other... I guess we can have two secondaries. We got a backpack with some uh, components. Gotcha. Whoa, that is a funky shirt. That is definitely futuristic right there. I think I'll keep the, the gray we had, actually. Looks like the blue has higher armor. We'll do that then. We'll go with the blue. There we go. That looks pretty badass, right? Locked. Alright. Well, I think we've done all we can here. Let's go ahead and meet with Jackie. Alright. Excuse me. Regina? Hey V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Alright, this lady over Alright. Oh my god, that was a studded dildo? What the fuck? Alright, we kind of live in a janky area. Alright, let's go meet with Jackie over here. This this person is like... Come on! On a on a roll, like they're like super determined. Do you need help, bud? Oh well, that's too bad. <laughs> cards. I'll take some cards, sure. There's so much going on, I wanna talk to everybody. It's just Hey, yo, V! 
What up, bro? Oh my god, they're all working out. What do you say? Who said that? Did you say that? Oh, you like my new punching bag? Ah. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. <laughs> Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> ah. So how about it? Um, uh, sure, why not? Let's do this. I'll beat up your bot. Your bot. Keep that head moving. All right, let's go, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on. You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. There you go. You thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. <laughs> what do you say? Um, what have you got on sale about these fights? Uh, what, do we got what have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Ah, okay, so he sells hammers. Oh, he sells like melee weapons. All right, so I definitely won't be talking. Um, you don't read me, so I'll be fine. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal. But very lucrative. Operative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. <laughs> you get the rest. Uh, you want to get rich off my hard work? Sounds fair. Uh... Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them. All right. You get a chance to fight the grand. Another way now. to make some money. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You started, you can boot. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. All right. Well, have a good day, sir. I'm gonna go meet with Jackie now. Uh... Oh, I can go to the fight in here right now. Everyone's, like, talking to me. I'm so... There's so much I don't know what to do. Hi. Let's see what you Let's got. Let's have a look. How much money do I even have? I have 1,200. Okay. Ooh, I can buy this assault rifle. Should I buy an assault rifle? Ooh, I might actually just do that. Uh oh, can I sell things? I need to sell for sure. Let's sell that. Yes, confirm. And then can I sell this? And sell this. There it is. Alright. Now go to your guns. I wanna buy this. Boom. Alrighty. Oh, collect my gun. How do I collect my gun? Let's have a look. I bought a gun already. Oh, this is the gun. He's offering me this gun, too. Sure, I'll take it. It's free. Um, is it better than... It is better than this gun. Then I'll sell this one. Yes. Confirm. Sweet. All right, you just receive an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an I iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can be also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Okay. Thanks a lot. All righty, got my gun. Let's go ahead and equip my shit. Because I do not have a weapon equipped right now. Boom. And then let's equip this. Boom. Sweet. Alright, we're good. Oh shit. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. Boom. And I got these two guns. Alright. Cool. God, there's like so many side. NCPD scanner missiles. NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs, fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Fixers, these intermediary, whatever, will inform you about local gigs. Okay, so these are like different side missions. Alright, gotcha. Yeah, 
sewing machine. Cool. All right. This is insane. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start, bro. Okay, hi. Woman of the hour. Jeez. They took you long enough. Pick up an appetite. Just that wait. That good. Can I have some? Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. All right. Come on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshawn. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. I'm fine. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. What's the job exactly? So, what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure. I keep getting system malfunction. Man. Riding on you, now, you know there's something wrong with me? Wait, why me? Don't see why not. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is wrong. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. <laughs> Dude, that food looks good. I want Gracias some. Dios. Oh, yeah, no. Brought your wheels. Ah. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Oh, uh, what a Much drive. appreciated. All right, you can call your active vehicle in your current location. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Yeah. Are we rolling or what? Let's do it. Let's feel this factory new ride. All right. Yes. Ah, she's a decent looking car. Oh, that's my gun. <laughs> First stop. Ripper Dock. And Chica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Can I switch the camera? There we go, that's better. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got oh, a day. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. This is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Alright. God, it looks like Blade Runner. Blade Runner, I mean Blade. You, or rather, not only to you. There's so much to look at, man. Really believe Checking them out. Those who have sold you with mechanical eyes have been Hey, V. Doctor Vector will see you now. All right. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll have fun. You look pleased. <laughs> Cause I am. Always. All right, Ripper Doc. All right, though a common practice, cyberware install install. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invas evasive. Procedure, which can only be performed by qualified specialists. River docks. There are several river docks operating through Night City who offer a variety, variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Cool. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Oh, uh, looking to upgrade. Heard of Dexter Deshawn? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But 
Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. All right. Thanks for the heads up. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Uh, got the money. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? <laughs> oh, man. I don't have the. I spent all my money on the damn freaking gun. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. All right, subgenetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organ organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, an install the installation of cyberware is still invasive and sometimes dangerous. Medical procedure, only specialists or for docs, blah, 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 okay. Okay. Hands. Gotcha. Cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed and sold at any USB dock. Gotcha. Okay, so I got that. And then I got an ocular system. Boom. Enhances my vision. What other things do I have? Skeleton. Carrying capacity, titanium bones. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. All right. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Oh. If only anesthetic was that Well, I guess Feel it kind of is that easy, but... I feel like I'm at the dentist. Play I know. I play though. <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on. I know. I just feel like I am at the dentist. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute. All right. Ugh! Can't even imagine having something that close to my eye. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Yeah, better than ever. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. All right. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which can you can use against your enemies. Cool. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. First time's rarely the charm, with anything, really.
scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. All right, cool. I oh, also I can look at my boots. NCTD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. All right, a database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner since all are wanted, dead, or alive. The methods you use to claim your rewards are entirely up to you. Cool. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Nice. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Oh, sweet. Alright, thanks, Vic. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Alright. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> He's cool, I like And him. once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Oh, all right. I got you, bud. Never forget. <laughs> What's taking so long? Move your ass. All right. Oh, what? What? <gasps> Kitty! Hi! Oh! I want to pet it! I saw the pet icon. There go, pet. Oh, yes, my little kitty. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. I take you home. Please tell me you can get pets in this game. That'd be fucking amazing. Okay. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. But you are not the master. All right, um... Who would that Can you be quiet, sir? Not only to you. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy oh God, is still better there. than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate the most max type of this okay. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick them up. I hope that's all clear. <laughs> All right. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Not lethal takedown, not lethal pickaxe, not lethal weapons, EMP grenade, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that can change damage to non-lethal. Given a weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Look at that. That's so fucking cool. I really want to go. I don't think I should get involved. <laughs> I need to talk to this guy. Hi. Right. Miss V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Sure. Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Uh, that's, that's some sort of test. How do I remember to get us on the counts? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I should have said the second I'd one. expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. I'll say whatever. Alright. Listen, win him close. Over. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Job. Tell me more. Why are we here? Why the show? Well, let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. 
Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Oh, that's a death sentence. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Alright, Maelstrom, what's the issue? Fine, tell me about her. Okay. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Alright. So I guess I don't like... I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. The woman. Corpo agent. What's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Mm -hmm. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect got nothing from him or on him so she's keeping him just in case but she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up well miss v that is some impressive deduction naturally use that intel as you please preferably well of course to do so you'll need that frazzled cat's info sending it now client what's her thing why does she need to meet woman's name's evelyn parker betting her wasn't easy Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Oh, I mean, think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right. Sounds good. One more thing, Miss V. What's that? Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm. Oh man, I don't know. Do I have to answer? I guess not. Later now. Alright. Alright, performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Uh, he was out to work me all over. He wants to check us out, see if we got what it takes. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Aye, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. 
About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, jet chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Um, let's go to Maelstrom first. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. <laughs> I'll hit the all foods put my nose to the ground. It's the ground. It's the way go. All right. Call Miltech, Agent Meredith Stout. Arms of Jackie. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and call her. I got construction here, looks like. Or Stout here. investigation. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. Shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck up's toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. All right. Meet with the Miltech agent. Meet with Jackie. I'm gonna do the optional thing. Miss V, I just want to remind you. Uh, again, the Eddies have already changed the hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partner in Biz. Around some of 10,000 to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Alright, thanks for the info. We'll need it. Best of luck. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um, so we gotta go. I'm gonna do the optional thing first. Let me see. Where is that at? Optional is this way. Do I have a car? Ah, oh, here we go. That's my car right here. Alright. It's weird because when I feel like when you're walking, there's a lot more to a lot more people and environment. But whenever you're driving, it's like it's all gone a little bit. Like there's no people, you know. Oh, there's one guy. <laughs> all right, so we're going to meet with that mil Militech agent. I want to do every optional thing. What's up, bitches? I'm here. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Uh, shake hand. That'd be What? Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Oh. Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. Just want to talk. The hell's going on? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? Oh, oh come sorry. on, what the hell? Now answer my questions. Honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport, and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep now. This bitch. She nervous. She's the one now nervous. This piece of Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Check down. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on, all corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. Hmm. 
I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Her, you can let go. I want to hear what she has to say. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Not the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech. Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong. I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches oh, on to cat. financial streams. My cat just sided up on my freaking desk. Okay, sorry guys. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Alright, fine deal. Oh, deal's off. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Alright, so I'm trying to find the world contained information hidden behind data encryption measures. To, to decrypt the shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under journal in the main menu, then select crack security to unlock its secrets. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, a mistake. This cook's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! That was fucking awesome, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Talk to- remove the virus from the chip. Okay, so let's see here. We got a journal, it said. Shards. Um... Militech dashboard, this one. Crack security. Alright, let's see five. Ah, oh, I see. Exit interface. Hold on, wait. I think I fucked that up. Shards. Militech dashboard. Crack security. Alright. I gotta do this again. Okay, 55. This is the only BD. There's two 55s here. Then I gotta get a 55 here. Get a 55. And I gotta get a BD here. Okay, so 55. Okay, I want the E9. There you go. Okay, so I removed the malware infecting the shard. Okay. Exit. There you go. Okay. Eddie's on the cred ship or clean. Alright, there we go. Figured that all out. Now let's go meet with Jackie. Alright, here we are. Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Okay. So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corporal bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Um, I'll play again for the Militech card. Grant, thought this one go smoothie. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Uh, onward. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Oh, I'm in this guy's way. Sorry, bud. Um, I... I hate these no. Borg fuckers. Sorry. <laughs> Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? Take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. 
With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <sighs> Don't know you. Dex sent us. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. All right, get some main production uh, power. Cozy place. Oh, they could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a gel factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Get all the goodies here. It's so fucking dark. Anti-personnel nine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. <laughs> Subtle. Enemies, like, what are we? Okay, Let me get this shard here. All right. All right, keep chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. So, what do you want? Flathead. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Planet. Alright. Like her eyes, They're beautiful. Well, shit goes for you, too. <laughs> I'll stand. This so fucking hard. Fucking ass on the fucking couch. Make me. Thought you never ask. Sit your ass yeah. down. Sit down. Yeah, remember, we're, we're on their well. turf, right? <laughs> Let's chill out. We don't need a well, freaking... All right. What's up? Come on. Not lighten up. Take a hit. Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. I'm good. Whatever you say, straight edged princess. This guy. Ask can I get his. Head blown up. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT0 D12. Show it to me. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Uh, I'll take it. It'll have to do. Raven is a dedicated. Uh, I'll take it. Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Uh. 
the fuck? I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Uh, that's pretty new to really. I'm talking to you! Uh, fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Uh, relax. Got him right here. Just like that. Without that in the fucking eye. <laughs> I need the vibe. Want it or not, I got places to be. <laughs> you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. <laughs> Man, he ain't dead. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So, gonna consider my offer now. <laughs> Okay, let's make it. You're short, sir. Here's the cred. Hell, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. But don't worry, I wiped it. If somehow they get dicey, you know. Unless you make it. Check it. I, I was really close to shooting him. I was like, I was trying to decide if I wanted to shoot him or not, but I'll talk my way out of things. to the combat. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dropy drop. direction of bullets ricochet bullet ricochets if you have ballistic compressor or cyberware cyberware and trajectory generator mod for Hiroshi optics installed yeah. all right let's get the fuck out of here I'm trying to take everything and also kill everybody
thing on these guys. Get out of here, guys. Come on, V. Let's get out of here. 
They drew and you know fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Uh, rather unexpected rescue. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. <laughs> when you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. All right. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? All right, what do you want? I think we're done here. Think we're done here, and doubt you'll find much inside. Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. All right. Jackie? Holy shit, V. <laughs> I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. We did it. Make a good pair. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. My guy. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Now that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex. Let him know we got his toy. A meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. All right. Ahí luego, V. Let's uh, have a chat. Looking, oh, Miss v. you called me. <laughs> I got a pod. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech game? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Miss V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. All right. Job well done. Go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. So you know what time it is. Oh, we got some new uh, attributes and stuff. Let's level up. We got three attribute points available and three points per points available. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, we'll do more on the reflexes. I think my either technical, uh, we'll do technical ability and then we'll do, I think, we'll do cool. Get our, our crouching movement up maybe a little bit. Let's do this one. Increase the damage with pistols and revolvers. Oh, this one would be helpful. Health slowly regenerates during combat. We'll do that. And I, do, I think we might do carrying capacity because I do tend to just like grab everything and I don't want to hit that weight. So let's increase carrying capacity by 60. Why not? All right. So far, so good. All right, we're going to go ahead to Lizzie's bar and I'll see you guys there. All right, back at Lizzie's bar. Hello, ma'am. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Uh, I've been here before. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Ha, <laughs> get a load of this one. <laughs> right. Rules are simple. If someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Ooh, 
Ooh, sharp. Ma, what a sweet little face you have. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Turn up. Yeah. Um, I do want to explore the city a bit. Um, but I want to finish this job so that way we get some money. Spend some money on a car, maybe some clothes. We'll see how it goes. But uh, hi. Hey. Get you something. Uh, looking for Evelyn. What can I get here? Get up. Where are we going? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. A big tipper. Answer the question. Name's V. Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Ah, oh, what's up? What's up, girl? I like your coat. You have matching blue hair. <laughs> Evelyn Parker. She's not even making eye contact. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Mm, tequila. Why do you feel Sense on. Only tequila I drink. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Uh, why am I here? Let's shop. Let's talk. Let's talk the content. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. All right. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what Nothing's can a horny girl really? like me Why don't do you for a hundred girl like you? All right. I'll take a seat. Got some high ass boots. <laughs> that base. Bumping, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's chat. Stop smoking. It's gross. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um, you don't care what Dex thinks. I'm the best. Let's just cut to the chase. Don't know how well I've been working together long. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews the on hell? long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Let's just talk to the other kind. Elaborate, please. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. <laughs> Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I'm familiar with the franchise. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? 
In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Let's see what's up your sleeve. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. <laughs> Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Miskiru with the biochip and Jesus got a taste for power. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. He can gain and retain control of anything. All right. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. <laughs> How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off too in those boxes. Yeah, yeah, I'll no. see yeah. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing uh, details, oh, human perception, know. even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, mm -hmm. years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always what? helped out. I trust her. Say, this week, but she's a mox. Okay. Not the latest member yeah, yeah, of your yeah, crew. Yeah. All right, all right. Try not all to right. forget. All right. Mm -hmm. So you'll be a good girl, mm -hmm. right. tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. All right. In biz or life. What's up? <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. <laughs> uh, hey, Judy got quite the setup here. Not bad. This hardware is top shelf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. 
They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm just putting pieces together as far as what brain dancing is. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Oh, should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I uh, think I can take it. No, never. We're so raw about it. I, I think I can take it. Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. All right. Sit down. Settle in. And we'll get you going. All right. Brain dance, huh? Some funky futuristic shit. <laughs> Let's do it, I guess. Create your sensory profile first. All right, profile away. <laughs> okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. <laughs> now sit still. Look at me. I'm gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Uh, you do this often? Am I gonna have to calibrate each time? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. Okay. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. All right, let's do it. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing be diving in and three, two, one. The hell is this shit, man? <laughs> Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. How is going on? Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, uh, Now, before I blow your fucking head off. Somebody shot him. You're alive and well. That was too much. Could have warned me. <laughs> A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Full scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. 
Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the... Deed to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Got it, got it. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Right. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't agree. You don't need such a cash. Yeah, think so. Full blast. They'll spot us extra for weekly penetration. Okay, right here. All right, visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Both sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence and the editor if, if, if the editor is set to correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being, successful, after being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. move on. Now heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. There you go. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, this is crazy. explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. All right, switch between... Uh... Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. <laughs> now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the floor? My scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa, yeah. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Chumba shot him. That's what I was thinking. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. 
Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed and You can trust her, Evelyn. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Alright. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, Judy and Evelyn, doesn't matter. Are you ready? <laughs> Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. <sighs> All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, back in. Eyes open. Gotta find out where your node was keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Roy is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. All right. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Uh, I'm not sure what his database is. Or data pad. Um... Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Ah, there it is. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Alright, thermal. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. 
Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. All right. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. All right. Now we've got everything. Can't I want to make sure. Ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. All righty. I think we're done here, guys. Wanted to make sure I got all the evidence I needed, all the, info and all, all the information. I think we're good now. Get everything you need? Yep. Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Oh, sweet. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. I think the control really needed that recording. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right, we stand in. All righty, we're done here. Let's talk to Evelyn. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Uh, so what now? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No Dex. Uh. No way, Dex, trust me, I'll think about it. Uh. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this oh, point. Oh man, all right. Careful. I don't know. You don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. I'll think about it. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. That's a risky if you need move, me, call. Man. I'll send you my number. But okay. I do like her. Good luck. She's cool. I trust go. her. I need a few words with Judy. Alright. We leveling up, boys. Alright, another attribute point and another perk point. Uh let's see here. What do we wanna do? I'd say let's do reflexes. There we go. And let's look at other perks and stuff here. Let's see. It increases max health, we'll do that. How things looking, Miss V? Uh, 
Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Can't leave. There it is. All right. Back in the world. Going in or staying out? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And make sure you leave a comment showing your support for the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.